Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. Alright, today's video we're gonna talk about team building. Alright, give you guys some tips, some guides in order to build your team. Now, first things first, mono team is gonna be much more beneficial in most cases. Alright, what do I mean by mono team? You have a team full of only one specific element. Alright, so if you want a thunder element, the thunder attribute, so you just build a team with full thunder. Now keep in mind, you can have anyone as the leader. All right, the leader can be a different element. It doesn't matter because the leader will be able to attack regardless of the color of the tiles. But for the rest of the team, right, if they are not yellow, for example, they will not attack on the yellow tile. So there's a discussion or debate going on between like mono team, like a single element, or maybe it's better to go for dual team where you have two elements in one team. Now that really depends, to be honest. I can see both ways work accordingly because when in battle you have the option to switch leader anyway right all right so i'm gonna try to show you guys uh, in this particular battle against a dark summoner right here so again i'm running a full yellow team thunder team right so, so we're gonna try to explain as we go and tell you guys what's necessary and what is crucial in terms of making a team so as you can see i have one ability right now for my leader all right my leader is Gronru. she has this ability which converts tiles to yellow all right converts four nearest blue and red tiles to yellow which is very interesting now keep in mind that tile converters like Gronru right here all right i'm sure there's more like Raphael and stuff so i would say at least have one of them in your team like tile converters are really really good they are really important and they are really useful in case you don't have the element that you want specifically like in this case i only have yellow right here all right and i've green i've blue and I have red, which I can lead up to here if I want to. All right, probably I'm going to take that route. But as you can see, having one tile converter is going to give you the flexibility. Gronru is a very good one because she has the ability every two rounds, if I'm not mistaken, which is pretty fast. And she has the ability to use this at the beginning of the round. Now, should you have more than one tile converter? In my opinion, there's no need for you to. And we're going to explain later. So let me just try and move along this red path. We're going to go towards the top right here. All right. Okay, so now that we've covered all of that, so we'll be able to hit that thing protecting the boss. Okay, so now I have the ability to go to the yellow, which I will take shortly. So as you can see, the cooldown of each of their active skills are listed right here. All right, two, two, one, two. All right, so this is Kafka, and I can't wait to show her skills to you guys. So Kafka is a sniper. She has a long range ability that allows her to shoot throughout the entire map. Alright, so I would say have at least one sniper, someone that has the ability to shoot very very far away like enemies in the distance that you don't have to reach them just so that you can do damage in case they are not near you. Alright, like you want to finish off this opponent for example, like you don't have to purposely go right there. So one tile converter, one sniper is going to be pretty crucial and of course healer. Now this is going to be very dependent on individual. I've heard some players say that healers are not needed now, if you go to the later stage of the later content of the game where you try to attempt Spire or even in the game mode that you have to consistently use the same units over and over again once the units die, you can't uh, remove them. So healers are going to be much needed right there. I mean, in the early stage, definitely you don't really need healers. Having much more uh, damage is going to be like enough for you to take care of multiple stages. Right, let me move right here. So as you can see, since I'm moving on the yellow tile, everyone will be able to attack the boss as you can see right there and all of them will be able to use their skills all right so in terms of positioning right this is very important and i did set it in a in sort of a wrong fashion right here so ideally you want your damage dealers to be arranged in according to the melee all right, the closest, the unit that can hit near, and then units that can hit far. In this case, my Kafka needs to be at the bottom. Now, why is that? Because sometimes if the enemy closer to you die, let's say uh, her, her range is within melee range, right? She's going to hit nearer. So if I use her and she kills an enemy afterwards, uh, she can hit the enemy that's further. So in, in most cases, I need to put her, I need to switch their position. If that makes sense right and i think this has to be the second followed by uh vivian followed by her so try to arrange your order in terms of from the one that deals the closest to the furthest if that makes sense so that you don't waste any attacks just in case that your melee hits are able to kill the enemy that's close to you 
you know, your range hits can still target those that are far away. All right, let me just jump into, let me see if I can show you Kafka's ability. As you can see, this will hit the entire map, like I mentioned earlier. So we can try to aim that if you want to, and she's going to hit that twice. One, two. All right, that will take care of one of the shield protector or whatever you call those. Power supply, all right. So let's try and do this. I'm going to take the blue, all right. So Gronro's ability is probably not going to hit anyone, which is fine. Okay, so now the boss is here. Very interesting. Okay, so as you can see, I haven't taken any damage this round, or I think I did, but my healer was able to heal me back up, which is uh, Nadine right here. So let me start off by using the ability, since I have plenty of active abilities. We're going to try to use Vivian's ability right here. We're going to try to hit everyone nearby. Okay, very cool. And then, let me try to do some tile conversion. Okay, so keep in mind Gronru only converts blue and red tiles to yellow. So if there's no blue or red tiles, it will convert the one that's further. So this doesn't look like it's in my favor. I could probably like go here, 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 go up here, but like what's the point, right? Probably my best option would be to move away from this spot. And this is a cool one. I would suggest having at least one of this character, basically a character that can help you move across the map. So I do have Michael. Before Michael, I'm using the Drill Girl. I forgot what's the name. Rabi, I think. Yeah, she can drill anywhere around the map and she does a bit of damage if he hits the enemy within a cross tile range. But Michael has just a way superior ability, right? So she can basically just move across the map and do that. Insane amount of damage. Just crazy stuff. Alright, so let's see, do I convert right here? I'm not sure if this is enough, but Nadine is very good if you are building a yellow team because if you are going to use a healer, she also has the ability to convert one tile to yellow. So let me see if I can showcase her ability right here. So we're going to try to do this. It's a bit weird. Okay, whoa, whoa. I think we're going to go up here, come here. Dang, only 8 points, alright. Alright, everyone should be able to use their abilities. I'm gonna heal. And I'm gonna use her ability as well. Again, I position. I should have put Michael first. Alright, she's still alive. Interesting. But I don't think she'll be alive any longer right after this. Alright, gonna hit her twice. And there we go. So ideally, your leader, you want to be either 5 or 6 star characters. I wouldn't recommend putting like a 3 or 4 star as your leader because the damage will be really lacking. Your leader is, you want to be the one that deals the most damage. Now, let's jump into the screen and I'm gonna show you guys how do you check their stats. All right, Gronru right now, as you can see, if I click on her, uh, you can see my attack is 1092. So why is this important? Because leader is gonna attack the enemy regardless of the color of tile. So you want to set someone with high attack preferably so that they can do a lot of damage when they move around, right? So Gronru has 1092, which is why I set her as leader. Michael has 1,500. I think I want to switch Michael as the leader uh, because I did got Michael just recently if you guys watch my latest video. And yeah, most 6 stars have high attack. Going into like less rarity like 4 star and 5 star, most of them have lower stats in general. So Kafka has 1.3k, Vivian has 700 so definitely I wouldn't set her as a leader. Someone like Rabi has 700 as well but maybe that's because they are not ascended just yet. So let's have a look at some 3 star like Angel. 700. Uh, her attack is not bad for a 3 star actually. So someone like Amy has about 400. So definitely look at their stats, preferably set someone with a high attack, preferably like a 6 star, so therefore you get the best out of their base stats, right? Alright, so basically um, the gist of it, you want to have one tile converter, you want to have one healer ideally, you want to have at least one damage dealer like sniper that can shoot very far away, or it could be someone like Vivian in my case, she does pretty decent AoE damage, right? Someone that can do like chain combo and stuff, which is really interesting. And also you want someone that can help you move around the map. Like someone like Rabi, which has the ability to basically teleport to a sele selected location. So, or someone like Michael. Like I would say if you are struggling with certain stages, some stages they do have like an open area or there's a lot of traps. Like in those stages, you want to have perhaps more than one of these guys where you can dash to a certain location or just teleport 
straight up. So ideally, if you have each of these roles set, you should be good to go. Tile converters is just very important and valuable to have. I would say have at least one of them. Uh, if you want to have two of them, that's fine. But I would prefer to have someone that can move you around the map or someone that can shoot for a further distance away, someone like a sniper, like Kafka in my case, right? Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if I miss anything, let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.